think he's trying to get up. Like an explorer in the New World, he first set Flipper on the shores of Southern Ireland last spring. He's huge. Next stop, the coast of Wales. They called him Wally, naturally, a four-year-old one-ton Arctic walrus, probably a male. This poor guy's turned up over here on a very, very long journey, very, very far away from home. One worry is that walruses are losing sea ice to climate change and venturing further from the Arctic. They're losing habitat, so we can expect to see more and more of those Arctic species um, becoming vagrants and becoming displaced from their native habitats. But out on his own, it's likely this intrepid pinniped is touring, an adventurer like so many teenagers, says one Canadian walrus expert. Teenage males that seem to um, have this wanderlust. It seems that all animals have this natural curiosity about the world. Well, this guy sure does. He looks nothing like any other walrus you've ever... Actually, he looks like every other walrus. But Wally has identifiable scars on his flippers. In Tenby, Wales, he lounged for days. The locals watched, and shops sold Wally pillows and playthings. He came from somewhere in the Arctic, part explorer, part tourist, swam thousands of kilometers to Ireland and the UK, was later spotted as far south as France and the waters off northern Spain, and then back to Ireland, this time County Cork. And finally, a three-week, 900-kilometer swim to Iceland. Yes. Whenever he surfaced, he just wanted a little sun, a little rest, on a dinghy here or something more sturdy there. And maybe take a boat for a spin like any sightseer. Bristly-faced, blubbery, and seemingly benevolent. They're sort of whimsical. They've got personality, character. Um, they're just such a, an amazing, wonderful animal. The massive mammal has made waves across the North Atlantic. Presumably he's now feeding in and around Iceland, packing it on to get him to that next step of his journey. Reaching Iceland probably means he's on his way back to the high Arctic to be with other walruses. What a story he'll have. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.